Hey guys, um, this is uh, Talia, and um, we are back to another Minecraft video. This one's a bit special. It's uh, the first uh, time I'm going to be logging into the Comic Craft server. Uh, I have it in the middle of the page, so it's uh, easiest for me to click when I go into here. Um, obviously, there's two people in. Uh, there's Chosen and Bronzy. Let's check where Chosen is, because I have the... Um, have it up on the screen right now as you can see because uh, it's a server I, it, it's a server that's dedicated to the map Let's see. oh he's in the nether all right so essentially we can stalk each other it's brilliant I love it okay um, the th there's about oh god how many other people are in the server there's uh, 12 no not 12 all up there's two bots okay so there's about t 10 all up uh, in this project that we're doing, it's a comic craft thing, and yeah, and there's immediately a dolphin is gonna die. Let me just uh, okay, I was gonna save you, but sure. Okay, so for custom statues. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let me just check if I'm still recording because, uh, okay, so I am recording. This is great. What's this? Oh, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. Now, I know that we do have a couple mod uh, packs. I think they're mod packs or something. I am honestly not too up to date with everything, like how it's called and stuff. I'm kind of a silly little noob in that regard. But, um, you know, I I'm, I'm just here to enjoy Minecraft. Okay, so I was talking with, uh, I forgot, I think it was Chosen, and um, it, it was during one of his streams, and um, he, he, said, he said something really interesting. He said that if I made a wool farm, even if I didn't make a wood farm as well, but a wool farm, you know, from sheeps, or, or just a wool shop, he would buy from it. He, he would pay me money no, not not real life money I mean like in-game currency so that would be the diamonds or iron or gold or emeralds um, I would probably ask for iron because to me iron is much more valuable um, and I charge uh, wood um, for diamonds because honestly it probably end up being like uh, uh, one stack is one diamond or something because yeah um, let's see please save me Please save me. Wait, Bronzy's here. Bronzy said that he'd give me a care package. At, at Bronzy, where my care package at. I have uh, my Turkish blend coffee right next to me. My uh, Bubba was nice enough to make me one. She's very, very, very nice. Um, I'm actually using uh, a room in her house to record this because my sister has finals coming up. I just finished my finals, but she's got her finals because she's in high school. And so uh, they're next week. And so while she's revising and studying, I'm staying the hell away from that. Like, 
No, okay? She's mean. She's scary, especially when finals are up. Just, just no. It's, it's not a good time. Let me just check where they are at. Okay, Bronzy's here. I think he's AFK. Let's, uh, chosen. I think he's, okay, so he's there. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine if he actually went to sleep in the nether. Well, this is fun. I, I hope we're having, I'm having fun. I, I hope you guys are having fun as well. I, um, I did a bit of tweaking with uh, the, the video and audio quality of uh, the actual recording. So when, when you guys see this, because it's a video, so I, I have the room to edit, but like by the time you guys see this, it should be like really, really nice to listen to. But uh, me listening to it, um, it's a... Uh, from from the testing, it's uh it's pretty it's pretty good. Also, the dragons drop elytras and a dragon egg, so that way we can keep respawning it. So that's very very nice. Let me just uh, another sip of the coffee. I'm 21. I'm not gonna grow anymore, so might as well just uh drink my growth stun stunting drinks. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fix my uh, no bed problem real quick. So if we go over here. <laughs> Rotten flesh. I need that. Yoink. I'm planning on uh, making a villager farm and a trading hall because there is no way I am going to work for XP. Like I know that Bronzy's already made an Enderman farm and like that's pretty neat for, for XP but like trading, just trading. I, I, my, my degree was commerce so uh, yeah I, I love trading. Hey, thank you. That will help me with uh, potion brewing, and I love making potions. Um, I need three more then if he doesn't have a bed. Okay, so now I need a uh, crafting. Okay, I can just make a crafting bench. Okay. Ah! I'm also working with a new mouse. My mom gave me her mouse, which is actually a gaming mouse, but she used it for work. Um, so, my mouse broke like two minutes before my last finals exam, so that was fun. So. Okay, so I was told that there was a flower biome. Where is it? Um, somewhere up here, if we can get it to load. So it's this area. Uh, so like here, I'll put it in the middle of the screen. Um, so it's this area with the little blob and stuff. It's, it's uh, right there. And then there was another one, an island, a tiny one. Um, I want my base to be pretty big because of the level of... Um, the, the amount of villages and like the level of trading I'm going to be doing so I might end up doing it on the far west or the north southwest maybe I'm Australian where's Australia Australia's in the southeast but the southeast is already kind of explored that's annoying okay so I might end up just like exploring the entire map then <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing so it's fun shiny let me catch you in a pokeball. It didn't work. <laughs> I was I was watching Bronzy's uh, stream earlier and uh, he did um, Pokemon and all I saw was uh, just a bunch of card openings, but you know, 
Can I have it back? Thank you. <laughs> Much obliged. Now, um, I would like to warn everyone that uh, the walls are not um, soundproofed at all. So it's a bit echoey and plus like there are other people in the house and so I can't really scream scream. Well, no, actually they told me I can scream because like the, um, the other people in the house, they're nocturnal. So they're all sleeping, but like they, they're really heavy sleepers, but like I, I can't like look it's just common courtesy not to scream when they like this house is being used for sleeping um it's manners um plus i'm kind of using um somebody's bedroom and he doesn't really use the bedroom anymore but you know manners i, I really shouldn't be taking this for granted it's just being i'm just i just want to be polite okay so um um okay so i need to get i, I already have wood um, okay, so tools, one, two, just need that, give me that, oh no, actually I can come back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Oh, if I can remember this right, so it's that, that I needed. Well, that's a mood. Um, one, uh, two, three, four. Um, okay, so that can go here, here, okay, okay so where am I going, where am I going to go, where, where should I go, let's uh, check the map, um, I actually have to go to OBS and like actually go into an interactive screen um, to actually check this, so it's not actually, um, I'm not using a mod, I am using the browser map. Um, I really like the Mesa biome because um, you grow sticks there. So that instead of grass, it's just sticks. Um, so that's nice. Plus, you don't have mobs um, spawning in your farms all the time, so that's extra nice. Um, but again, like, uh, there's all of this left to be explored. Um, Bronzy said that he might, and I mean he might, uh, might <laughs> uh, expand the map if, um, if we explore the whole thing. So I guess that's what I'm doing. Oh. I have no armor. You know what? Let's do this. Uh, I need to get them to kill this guy first. Like that. Got it, okay. Nope, okay. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, no, no, no. The other guy went in the front. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, no, no, no. Okay. I actually have to survive because I currently have a bet going with someone. Uh, I have to survive 24 um, hours in the game. Like, not in game time, I mean like actual 24 hours of game time um, in order to win because um, then I get. Like, he, he said, like, the, the bet was um, I'll get. Um, like, the winner gets um, a, like 64 um, Ender Pearls. And I know that, like, now with the farm and stuff, it's not really that valuable, but, like,. You know, I, I like Elven Ender Pearls and I like not having to farm them personally. So, um, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make food. Um, 
I was hoping to kind of get the banner like on my first five minutes of like being in here, but I can't really get that kind of uh, bragging rights. This is on uh, what? Hang on, uh, options. It's on normal difficulty. Oh, there's flowers over there. Okay, that's nice. Um, I don't want to go too far from um, here. What I can do is fish for food. Hey, nice. Okay, so. One, two, three. I also need stone before I die. Okay. Have twenty two, three, four. Okay. Um, this is not my base, not even a temporary one. I am just making a furnace real quick. Um, popping that here. To get some supplies, I'm gonna make this into charcoal. I'm gonna cook this beef up fish a little bit. Wait, this is a river, I think. Uh, let's see, this is a river. Yes, okay. Uh, F3, okay. That means there is this really cool thing called salmon in the area. There should be at least. There we go. I thought that was salmon. Apparently it's just squid. There's cod. Okay, that'll work. I thought... Th okay, there we go. Going up, going up, going up. Okay, good. Okay, good. Uh, that should tide me... Wait, wait, wait. wait. I thought I saw... Okay, never mind. No, no, cause, okay, never mind. I actually haven't played, like, properly played Minecraft in a little while, so I am a little bit uh, rusty on some things. Okay, so... Yes, I do know there's an auto-crafter, but, like... I'm not going to use it. <laughs> um, okay, so there's two. Oh, man, I, could, I, I thought I killed a little bit more than just uh, two, but I mean, sure. There we go. So until I have iron armor, I'm just going to keep sleeping and stuff and just uh, keep getting my stuff. But yeah, it's really dumb if I have to die in like the first five seconds. Okay, there we go. Okay, what are we? Where are we going? I need to check the map. Where am I going? This is, we're going. Why are we going north? It's complete. It'll take me forever to explore all of that. Um. Okay. What if I go this way? That's west. Okay. So I want to go that way. Where the scary skeleton is. Okay. Nope. We're going around the skeleton. I could have made a boat. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Let 
gonna y yank this. Thank you. Oh, this is so pretty. Tutututun mashallah. I hope nobody comes around and burns it to the ground. Oh, is this just a sliver of a little um, biome? I mean, it is nice, but you know, I was hoping for a proper flower biome. That would have been even better. Mm. Okay, that's a bit disappointing. I mean, there's bees, but you know. Okay, I'm thoroughly disappointed. That's uh that's a bit upsetting. <laughs> uh there's a jungle. Um where am I going? If I do this, that's west. Where am I right now? I am a bit north, I need to go all the way west a bit. I need to go southwest. What am I doing up here? Go past Bronzy's place. Okay, so I need to go that way. I um I need to um Okay, so the purpose of this episode is that I get a sheep uh farm going. And I get a sheep, uh, like a wool farm going. Uh, let's go this way. On the road again. Oh, I think that's Bronzy's place. It's dead. Uh, no iron that I can see. So I'm not gonna go down there just yet. Well, that's annoying. Um, Maybe this is why we have extra dirt. Okay, I'm good at what I do. Nice. Is anyone in the Discord? That's what I'd like to know. Uh, no one is in the uh, Discord um, voice chat. Did somebody text me. That's weird. Nobody's supposed to text me. Okay, it was just a email. So I was going to record earlier, but one, nobody was on the server, like, except me. Um, and two, my grandfather was in the hospital and I had to go pick him up. He does not have COVID. He just um, was going for a checkup with his uh, intestines and holy... Who's burning the place? Whose house is this? Wait, where am I? Let's check the map. Oh, I know where I am. I'm at... um. That, that person's base, not it's not Bronzy's base. Bronzy's base is a bit more that way, I think. Let's check the, yeah, it's a bit more that way. Okay, that could have been bad. <gasps> iron, I, oh, okay, so I see a bit of iron. Wait, do I, okay, I do not have Optifine. I just tried it. Uh, there's two little bits of iron down there. Is it worth it? I don't even have the water bucket, but that might be enough for a water bucket. Oh, there's enough for a water bucket. Okay. Wicked. Okay, um... Okay, so eight. Why? Why did? 
Oh yeah, I I mined out eight. I'm a bit of a ditz. I've only had about three, four hours of sleep. Um, I stayed up watching um, the other streams, and I by others I mean Chosen stream. I watched Bronzy stream. Look, you know you know that moment where like you find a really really good um, streamer and like. I think people say it like, oh my gosh, like freaking who was it called? Tubbo was on, so I couldn't, I, I didn't go to sleep last night. Yeah, it's at that moment only it's uh, not Tubbo. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way, I just mean that it just wasn't Tubbo, it was somebody else. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, there's some coal over there, and I could probably benefit from getting that. Oh, okay, nope. I need that. This is also my first time, um, actually, well, no, not probably not my first time. It's my first time in about five years uh playing on an actual desk so this is a this is strange vibes going on here like usually i um record on my bed uh, i don't have a desk so um yeah i'm a middle child so i don't get privileges okay <laughs> um okay let's see So yeah, usually I'm on my bed, usually I'm just uh, chilling and um, I've never been able to stream. I really do want to stream, but I've never been able to stream uh, because oh, uh, because I've only ever had a laptop and um, I've never been blessed with a PC system even though everyone else in my family gets one. It uh, really feels bad man vibes here. <laughs> But yeah, so I've learned to make do with um, all of this. I've really had to learn with the OBS system how, how to make it compatible with my laptop. Um, but you know, it's been a journey. It's been a journey. I've learned more about making videos and like editing sound than I ever did in my high school music class, even though in my high school music class, uh, our assignments were to. Um, uh, create songs and stuff I just uh, they, they didn't my teacher never taught us actually how to um, produce songs like but like learning for YouTube and stuff it's really it's it's really up to the ante with like learning so that way I you know you can actually like make good things like make it good um, same with videos um, in design class, they don't teach you how to use editing software. They just teach you angles and uh, drawing and literally nothing else. It's, it's a, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, once you leave high school, you actually learn things that you need. Well, my high school, I went to school in Australia, obviously. So, you know, my sister, she's learning about STEM. She's, uh, she's learning about biology, uh, everything that, okay, so here's, here's a really funny story. My teachers begged me to join biology for year 12 because I got kicked out of my Chinese class. Like she was hiding my work. So they kicked me out because they, they, I knew too much. And like, I'd actually learned the language too. So they were kind of miffed that I was genuinely like nearly there to succeeding, but nope, nope, nope. I had to go. So I had to change that slot for high school because my mom's like, no, you have to do six classes. You can't just do five. Um, in Australia, our classes are heavily, um, they are heavily, I already have a crafting bench, uh, they're heavily, um, condensed. So when we learn a language class, it's not just like the literature, it's not just the language, it's everything about the culture as well. Uh, so English, we do English literature, English, um, history, that kind of thing, like everything to do with English in the English class. Um, I need to do that. And then, so, yeah, that's why we have like, we only have to do six classes in our final year. So that's year 12. Um, yeah, well anyways, um, everything that my sister learned in biology, 
um, I learned um, in like I was asked to join biology but um, I said no I want to do art and um, the art teacher was nice she knew that I was just doing the class um, because like just as a throwaway but she was she was nice and like she let me do it and it was a lot of fun I made my own tapestry in like five days I nearly I didn't sleep for two weeks it was it was fun <laughs> like I actually um, a a3 size tapestry and it was continental stitching so I needed double of everything to make it work it's continental stitching plus a long stitch um, but yeah, so I chose art instead of biology, but the funniest thing is I did psychology one and two as a, as throwaway subjects in university. Again, I'm a, I'm a, where, what, excuse me. Okay. Well, anyways, um, so I was do, I'm, I'm a commerce student. I was doing, um, uh, I was doing psychology one and psychology two, the introduction classes based because, um, they, they were just throwaway classes and I was just I just wanted to have fun uh, I ended up learning uh, biology in that class because uh, we had to learn about the body and we had to learn about medicine and like what the different hormones do in the body where they come from that kind of thing um, and I my, my sister was telling me that uh, she had to study for uh, uh, three months to learn the stuff that I learned in uh, three hours yeah yeah <laughs> uh, so that's a feels bad man I would have had to be like stuck learning the stuff for three weeks if I'd done biology what a, what a what a lovely feeling knowing that I bypassed all of that and just did a throwaway subject. Art was great fun. I'm so grateful to have done it. I also did music as a throwaway subject because um, I've been learning music since I was about four. And it's not because my parents were like, oh, you have to do well. They, they weren't those kind of parents. For me, they're just like, oh, just do do whatever you want. We don't actually care what you do. Just it, it was it was still a feels bad man, but like it wasn't the kind where like, you know, raised expectations kind of thing. Um, my parents put me in... Um, piano uh, and music because um, I was paralyzed at the time and activating the brain made me not paralyzed because that happens um, it was to do with the nerves and I had to recondition the nerves in order to yeah so it was it was a, it was an illness the doctors were not uh, very nice they kept injecting you stuff but anyways so I did music for many 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 years and um, yeah so music was very much a throwaway subject for me and the teacher said uh the music teacher that was um brought to us because we had a change in music teachers she said um oh you know because this is year 12 uh, year 11 sorry you shouldn't pick my class because you think it's going to be a throwaway subject because it's not music is hard and i mean very 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 hard and I'm not gonna take any L's from you. You gotta, you gotta work hard for your mark. And she, she, she looked at me when she said this, and I laughed. <laughs> oh no! Um, I don't regret laughing. I'm gonna be real. I don't regret laughing. Yeah, just it was 100% a throwaway subject. I learned nothing in her class. She just she taught me nothing. And when I told my mom about it, my mom had been taught by the same teacher, but like at a different school. But um, like yeah, about 20 years ago, 30 years ago, sorry, ish. And um, she taught she she made my mom hate music in general, like just just learning about it. But like, you know. Uh, then I told my mom what the teacher was doing and I said how unprofessional it was to be um, discouraging people in the first five seconds um, because we already had like a class of six so yeah uh, that class of six dwindled down to about four then three then two until I was the only one that feels great um, I was honestly in there just for the credit points because I was already doing like all these artsy fartsy things and just, I was already getting extra credit points from 
uh, doing acting in school and being an extra and connecting with like all of these uh, people uh, in the acting industry and music industry. And um, oh, potato, I need that. Um, but yeah, so I honestly just didn't give a damn what this teacher thought of me because I didn't actually need her that much. I just needed the extra credit. Um, but yeah, so she taught me literally nothing about music that uh, I didn't already know, except that music teachers can be bitches. <laughs> uh, yikes. So look, if your high school teacher is being a jerk, just ignore them like they're not doing it because they hate you they're doing this because they just hate kids in general um yeah usually um teachers aren't supposed to be like that i'm a teacher so yeah i would kind of know this stuff <laughs> um uh also what else what else what else um, my drama teacher was actually probably the best thing ever. She, um, she taught the students in her, in, uh, year 12, our, in our last 10 weeks of class, she taught us how to write paragraphs because, uh, none of our classes actually sat us down and taught us how paragraphs worked. We just had to, uh, fumble our way through it. And, um, and so, uh, uh, she sat us down and did that. And then the librarian, the librarian wasn't even a teacher. Yes, she had a teaching degree, but she wasn't even a teacher. And she taught me how to properly write, just writing. Um, I was writing fan fiction and she taught me that uh, some of the things that I was doing was wrong. And uh, I'm so grateful she did that. I'm so grateful she told me my work was trash and that she told me how to improve because at least someone was doing it, okay? And also my English teacher in year uh, 12, that's final year for us, so senior year, he, I showed him my fan fiction because I asked him, would you like, hey, I write fan fiction, would you like to read my work? And he said, sure, sure. And so I showed him. And so he didn't, he said it was nice. He said, he said it was good, but like I looked him in the eye and like he didn't show it, but, but I just thought, you're lying. And so... The next day, he knew that I thought he was uh, he was lying. I didn't say it, but but he just look look. He went, he's a parent of like three teenage girls. He 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 knows when a teenage girl thinks he's lying. So he um, the next class we had, he cancelled the Shakespeare lesson to tell the students uh, to, to give pointers on writing and he said oh you know with with stories like uh, some stories they they start right off the bat they get people involved and like it's actiony and like people it's it's genuine audience retention and then there's the stories where like they don't do that and it's just backstory 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 and no story but you know, <laughs> and so, <laughs> and so um, yeah, I took that to heart. I was very grateful for him telling me that my uh, work was like finally telling me how trash my work, my writing is. Um, and um, yeah, so I appreciated that like genuinely. Um, and, and with that, I um. I wrote at the library and then the librarian teacher saw me writing something really freaking depressing and like it was for an art piece and she said I see potential join me after after class I have some sheets for you and she like she brought out like a uh, freaking you know you know you need textbooks you need accounting textbooks accounting textbooks okay those are like the thicker than a McDonald's Big Mac all right, so, so if you have reference, just look at a McDonald's Big Mac and multiply it by four. And that is how many pages she had stacked for me to read, to, to, to give me pointers on my writing. There, there were a lot of diagrams. There were a lot of diagrams. She was very, very sweet to, for giving me them. Uh, and yeah, it was the best freaking thing I'd ever been given. I felt like it was my birthday and I had done something right with my life. Like, that is how happy I was. Uh, and so, 
Yeah. Uh, then um, she proceeded to tell me she, to bring the story that I wrote for my assignment. Uh, and so I did. And she essentially uh, butchered it. Like, I, I mean, she, she grabbed a knife uh, to, and, and st stabbed the, the, the pile of pages I called my writing. And she said, we're going to edit this. And, and so I'm like, is there anything left to edit? <laughs> I, I was too scared. I was hiding behind the, the, the chair. I was like, is there anything left to edit? And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can edit it on the computer. And I'm like, G -g great. I, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. That, that, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, that, that was a, that was a feel good moment. I just have to check cause I thought I'd accidentally mu muted my microphone. Turns out I didn't. Um, okay. So yeah, so she, she, so the, that day we had gotten to editing. She taught me a lot of tips on how to improve my writing, including absolutely butchering my work. Like, and I mean butchering, um, she she said that like even if you are attached to your work you have to learn that for the sake of self improvement sometimes some things just have to go you have to cut out the tumors in order to leave the healthy tissue alive and um this, it was really really helpful these these tips and tricks um honestly she she was uh she's gruff as a teacher i think my favorite teachers are the most gruff like my drama teacher and the librarian like you can argue with these teachers and they wouldn't get angry with you like because like they they see that you're like a spitfire and like you you genuinely care about the stuff that you guys are talking about they like to see that kind of fire in people and um i genuinely cared about it so so i fought tooth and nail for my work to stay and she taught me how to have a freaking backbone so whenever my music teacher came over the next day and she'd be like oh this needs to go to go in the bin and i'm like no it doesn't this is perfect and my t music teacher would be like whoa she has a backbone but yeah so back to this librarian so she she genuinely improved my fan fiction writing and she knew that i'd be using this stuff for fan fiction writing because i had no confidence in my actual writing ability but she told me this beautiful beautiful inspiring thing she told me that uh i better keep writing or she would come to my house <laughs> and uh, uh with pitchforks and in a knife and um she'd be like uh, the regular fan fiction stands like rah, 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 update and I'm like this is nothing I haven't uh, heard before but yes thank you I appreciate everything that you do for me and I did I, I do um, I'm really grateful for all of the lessons that these people have given me like she, she okay just for the record because obviously somebody's gonna misconstrue this she did not come at me with a freaking pitchfork and a knife we don't have pitchforks in Australia. I don't think we do. Um, she, it was a metaphorical pitchfork and knife. She, she's, um, she's a very intense woman. Um, what direction are we going in? Uh, this is west, that's south. Okay, I want to go this way. What, where, where in the, okay, I need to go this way. Wait. Uh, okay, I know where I am. Great that so we can see everyone okay so um i need food um yeah so the, the, i appreciate all of the mentors in my life like especially the ones where as a teenager they kind of just looked at me and they let me be angry <laughs> i was a very angry child oh i think this is whose uh, house is bronzy hey bron Z, uh, care package. I'm poor. <laughs> yeah, just, just give me, give me stuff, please. I, I need food. I need health. Oh, I should have made my. Okay, hang on. I'll just make myself some armor. But if I make myself armor, he'll think that I'm rich. I need food first. Let, let me just loot everything that you own and then I can uh, 
get get the uh, stuff. Can I borrow a few uh, wheat uh, seeds and carrots and potatoes? I'll sell them back to you for a lovely price of three diamonds. <laughs> oh no. So generous. Bones. I got room for bones, yes. Let me just uh, steal a few potatoes. Let's, uh... How do how do I get out? Oh, thank you. What is this? Um, here lies Samuel. <laughs> Oh, someone shot him. <laughs> um, what? Why the dirt blocks? Okay. Uh, this is breaking me. Someone's uh. Grave, Red Samuel, he dead. <laughs> I'm gonna drink my coffee. It's cold and it tastes disgusting, but like it's nostalgic. Where am I going? Uh, that is west, that is south. Okay, so I gotta keep going this way. 